Hey y'all, it's Jordan Davis. I know it might be weird that I'm just talking casually and not in front of my usual bland corner. Now I'm in front of my, a different bland wall on my rather bland couch. But I was just re-watching my Lithuania reaction when I realized that I forgot to express that that was not my first reaction to the song. I have heard it before. I mean, how could I not have? It's been so popular. So I just want to say that like, I don't know if my reaction expressed that I liked the song because I do like that song. But, you know, having not heard it or having heard it before, rather, it was not a shock to me. So I just want y'all to know that that was not my first reaction. Um, and that's my own dumbass fault for um, not doing a reaction when it came out. But I don't think I was doing reactions when it came out. So I just want y'all to know that I liked the song. But if that doesn't come across, I just want to tell you that I, in fact, did. But I think it should come across because I smiled a lot. Um, but anyway, just want to let you know that. But hi from a different position. Maybe I'll start filming in front of my couch a little bit more. Um, I have a little side table, but you can see that's where I usually film. But anyway, let me know, you know, if you have any thoughts or opinions. But I hope you like this reaction. Thank you again for watching, and we will see you later. Hi everybody, this is Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm a graduate student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. But outside of my graduate studies, I'm really big into the Eurovision Song Contest. And so this year I decided I wanted to do some reactions to express my own thoughts and opinions and also to engage in dialogue with Eurovision fans and friends from around the world. So, I've been slipping on this reaction. I don't know how I let this like pass me by with all the hype around the song, but somebody just commented and asked if I was gonna do a reaction to Lithuania, the Roop on fire. And I'm like, shit, how have I not done that yet? So y'all, I'm getting on that right now. Cause I was like, that's a, it's such a huge song. I'm like, how have I not reacted to this yet? But anyway, so without Further ado, I'm gonna just go ahead and get into this reaction. Of course, I've heard a ton about this song, but I'm gonna try and just experience it as purely as possible. So let's go ahead and get into this reaction. That's a big audience for Lithuania's national final. I always wonder whose hands those are. <laughs> like, that do things like that. Y'all can hire me, I could be a hand for something. Oh, I like his pants. Love a wide leg pant. Ooh. This is groovy. Y'all know I love some red. This is mad groovy. It's quirky as hell. Like this is so different than like anything. <laughs> is that flossing? Or is that just an unrelated but similar dance? <laughs> like one armed flossing? <laughs> Yep, see this is, okay. That's the meme I've seen of this song. Oh my God, y'all, the choreography. <laughs> That's crazy. That is so funny. See, <clears throat> okay, this is silly, but like, this is silly in a way that I appreciate. Unlike another song that everybody loves, which I really still don't love myself. Not gonna name it, I think we know. If we don't know, that's okay too. Ooh, I think I found the hands. Oh, 
I want to know who choreographed this. Did he choreograph this himself or was it somebody else? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love those black figure, their figures in front of the red backdrop. That is so cool. That's such a cool view. Oh, that's awesome. I think that was my favorite part. That was so cool how they did that. And now like the red is pretty much gone and it's now mostly black and white, but there are bits of red. I don't know if that's significant, the change in color. Oh, fire. That was fun. That was a fun song. See, again, that was like silly, but that's silly in a way that I can appreciate. I can see why everybody likes that song um, because that was a good entry. It's so different, but it has those throwback elements that we've seen in quite a few different songs this year. Um, the choreography was hysterical. I wanna know who choreographed this. And I just wish I could get in their brain and like go through that process with them because <laughs> That's so, it's so different. It's just so different. Um, I'm interested to hear from you all what you guys think about this in relation to some other Stranger songs that we have this year and how this, you know, relates to those songs. Um, because we have a few songs that really stand out for the countries that sent them. Um, so I'm really interested to hear what you all think. That was good. I liked it. That was a good time. Um, I could see this being a good time in the building as well. I really, really enjoyed the part where it was just their figures in black in front of that red background. I don't know exactly how they did that, but that was so cool. Such a cool visual. Um, so I hope they keep that in there. But yeah, I really like that. I don't know if I will download the song right now or if it's even available for download, but I can see that growing on me even more as we get um, into the Eurovision season a little bit deeper, but that was fun. I want to watch that again um, off camera to just focus on that and experience that because that was a that was a hoot and a half, really. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for recommending that. It was Abracadabra that recommended that. I'll put that in the description below. But that was a good time for me. Um, <clears throat> so let me know your thoughts on Lithuania's entry. Clearly, Lithuania is coming to do something that they did not do last year. I love the song that they sent last year, but clearly this is a very stark departure from that and even a stark, even more perhaps a stark departure from what they sent in 2018. So clearly they were like, we're gonna switch it up this year. We're gonna do something different for y'all this year. So thank you for recommending that I react to that. I thought it was a fantastic time and I'm interested to see if they keep the staging similar for Eurovision this year or if they change it up. But as always, if you like this video, then please go ahead and like this video. Please comment below and talk about your thoughts on this song and some of the other entries that really stand out this year for the countries that sent them. And if you like my reactions and want to see more of my reactions, then I ask that you subscribe because I plan to continue doing more reactions. And as you could probably tell from this video, I do take requests. So if you have requests of other Eurovision entries or national selection songs, um, that didn't make it to Eurovision this year or even non-Eurovision songs from Eurovision artists, I'd be happy to react to those two. I already have a list going and I'm hopefully going to do at least a couple more of those today. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and as always, I will see you next time.